The tensions between Sudan and South Sudan have garnered international attention, but for some residents of Sudan, a daily struggle continues against the government of President Omar al-Bashir, who they accuse of racism and oppression. In a recent interview, the Secretary General of the Sudanese People's Liberation Vo Movement, North, Yasser Aman, explained why it became necessary to form the movement. Especially after the Islamists took over in Khartoum, and their insistence that uh, Sudan uh, should remain an Arab Islamic country and, and they refused to recognize the diversity of Sudan as a result of this and as a result of the war of jihad uh, they wage against the people of South Sudan and other people in the North South Sudan, uh, the country break up and our movement as a result of that break up. We have two movements now in the two Sudans. But our movement in northern Sudan and in Sudan Republic uh, remain with the same vision. It is a vision of the new Sudan uh, that we, we believe that the Sudanese before they, they are African or, or Arab, Muslim or Christian, uh, they have to be Sudanese uh, on the fairest place and they have to have a commonality that will take them to, to a better Sudan. Some people sometimes never realize that there is a northern sector and south. And what is the difference? Uh, we are a party that is operating in Sudan. We do not have any relation with South uh, Sudan. Uh, we are an independent political party, but we share the vision like the Greens. You find Greens in, the, in Germany, Greens in, uh, in, 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 in France. Uh, the vision is, uh, uh, has nothing to do with allegiances to, to, to the country. The vision remain. Uh, for everybody. Our party uh, is uh, just working in the Republic of Sudan and has nothing uh, to do organizationally with any other uh, organization. We are the master of our destiny, of, our, of ourselves. Mm. Now, recently, just uh, as in the past, you actually did release a very scathing uh, statement against uh, President uh, al-Bashir. And uh, you said Omar al-Bashir is a racist who uh, propagates uh, religious hatred. Why do you describe him thus? Well, it is not me, it is him. Uh, it is a situation that Bashir created. It is his practice. Uh, we are just stating the facts. Uh, only the truth will free you. Somebody has to say the truth. Because uh, General uh, Bashir is openly calling the peoples of South Sudan, they are insects, and calling them that they are slaves, and that uh, he's recalling an old uh, Arabic uh, poem that you should not uh, buy a slave unless you have a stick. This is against Islam itself. It is against uh, humanity. Bashir, he's using uh, racism uh, to divide the Sudanese people and, uh, and to continue to stay in power. Now, one will uh, get the sense that uh, his issue, his problem is with the South Sudanese. His racism and religious uh, uh, prejudice is directed to Southerners. Uh, but to give us uh, some insight into how do those in Northern Sudan, in Sudan, really feel about his messages and about uh, his positions as regards race and religion? Well, as you know, the diversity is not only in South Sudan. Bashir is getting it uh, wrong. Uh, because uh, Sudan as a country before the, the to break up uh, is a country of more than 570 uh, different tribes, more than 130, 130 languages. Sudan is a country that goes to the Nile Valley. Uh, it is history goes to the Nile Valley civilization. Christianity has kingdom in northern Sudan for 1,000 years. Now uh, Bashir, after the he, he didn't take lessons from why the South left uh, the Union, and he's practicing the same policies. The, the North uh, remain uh, diverse uh, with or without South Sudan. And as a result of this uh, religious hatred, uh, that people, they burn his own group, they burn the Evangelical Church uh, in the heart of Khartoum. It is not in South Sudan. Also, they closed down the offices of the, of the Sudan uh, Council of uh, Churches. Uh, Sudan is a diverse country in terms of religion and uh, in terms of ethnicities, and we have to respect that. That is a God creation. It is not Bashir creation. And, uh, and, and, and Bashir actually killed uh, millions of Sudanese during his rule because of this vision.
Yasser Aman. He is the Secretary General of the Sudanese People's Liberation Movement, North.